I was. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. I was. Yeah. All right. We've been <laughs> teased. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it happens. We haven't happens. had one yet. No, we haven't. We're overdue one. But I guess we can kind of then further discuss who we're looking at then from that Billy Billy roster to potentially be that catalyst of chaos, right? Who can cause that amount of mayhem, get in their face? We saw a couple moments from, obviously, Bianca was a superstar. And then we saw YZ having those moments as well. Are we back on the way? There we go. Who are you looking for here? Which name from that Billy Billy roster are you going to have your eyes on to create those options? It's uh, because we're looking for Billy Billy to really disrupt what Fnatic want to achieve here on Haven. My eyes go to Wheezy. Uh, that's, uh, I think that goes without saying. Have to see just how proactive they decide to play on the defensive side. Alpha going to open things up. K Knight will fall. And Actually, on this. the back of that, yeah, Fnatic already found space towards Ceylon. Yeah, Yosemite, that's not going to work out here. Maybe just getting the feel of the game. Remember that initial NRG start that Billy Billy had? It was not particularly pretty, and then they started to arrive. But walking these smokes, Fnatic are so aware of all of those intentions, and Leo don't even need to see you. And now it's all on YZ. It's a lot to do here. This could be a very clean round, a frenzy. And a little bit of hope. Oh, it's not starting yeah. well. Forced a little deeper into spawn already. Yeah, consolation, maybe, but uh, yeah, the 1v5 here. Almost off the cards with time expiring. Oh, Leo. Good start for him as well. And a clean five alive for Fnatic. And I already like what we're seeing. That awareness of watching those smokes. How many times did we see Billy Billy just exploiting them? Constantly disrespecting those smokes, playing on through, catching one player off guard, and sometimes going terribly wrong as well. A little uh, high risk, high reward, but Fnatic were facing every single one of those smokes. There was zero chance. Oh. Barely really even getting a say in this round. Alpha with a clean opener as well, completely unscathed. No response found. I'm curious if uh, what we saw on Lotus was Billy Billy kind of. I kept talking about it. it looks as if they've got the right read on what NRG are trying to achieve and whether or not that moment, that, that kind of light bulb moment will come Ooh. once again. YZ open up onto Leo with a beautiful shot. That was clean. Okay, a little more of that. Here. Here. Taking away Leo. It's one of the pieces of the puzzle that works so well for Fnatic now. Could cause a couple more issues trying to make it cleanly towards those sites. But again, we don't have a massive purchase here for Billy Billy. There is just bits and pieces, odds and ends. A Sheriff for YZ, which has already been put to fantastic use. And the Frenzy for Rin. That's it. Beyond that, Classics. And even the Utility Kit is very light. Knight is the only one really with it in hand. And we can see where Fnatic are folding towards, deciding to lean slowly back towards the A site. Yeah, I've actually given up a... I'm not sure if they'll be given an audio cue here or if Bianca's just going to shoulder for some info. We'll hear at least Durka's dash. We'll get confirmation with the smoke up towards heaven as well. And there's going to be much for him to do in this scenario. Must have a right-click spam, but nothing on the other side of that. No. Let's see how many of these weapons Fnatic get to keep. Currently holding four. Now, was there a rifle dropped... It looks like Alpha was aware of the chance that someone's there, but already utility. Alarm bot invested towards that side, so it will reveal intention. And Dirk already going to find Biang. So that was the one player towards the site, gone. Now Dirk turns, spots one on the cross. That's going to be called. Second, found. Lovely. And now the others trying to do any damage they can. So far, still four of those rifles get firmly in hand. Down to three. Enemy remaining. Any more threat? No. Three rifles remain. Vandal in play and two Bulldogs. Come out and see just how fanatic life is. I mean, Dirk obviously bringing the marshal into the previous. Not even just going to run through with. I mean, Bosa's out at 4,500 as well. Mm. Let's say, I guess, overall, Billy Billy with an advantage in terms of the weaponry. Although very slight, it's just two bulldogs in the hands of Bosa and Alpha. We might even see a little bit of pace towards C here. So. In. This could be huge. Forced to fight and forced to fall. Durka cracks open the case. Comfortable on the way in, but there's a follow up. But again, look at the assistance, look at the support. It's a perfect system. Oh, and he's confident as hell. Three big kills, and he basically takes a side. But look at the rest of the fan Fnatic. They don't even need to follow up. Nope. They've drawn a rotation across already. Bianc 
confirming now that there's nothing else behind this, but why is he still positioned towards eight? Fnatic will find themselves a wide open B site here. All right, brute force confidence from Durka. Spike planted. And considering walking this smoke, yeah, shut down Alpha. Wise to it. Yeah. Wisey, this is a lot to ask of anyone. 1v4 post plant, alt there for Chronicle. Full kit of utility near on too. And slowly but surely, YZ trying to clear through, but he doesn't have the time. He's gonna have to get a bit of a move on here, and he's given no option, no quarter. Already cleared through C, they're herding around the map here. And Leo gonna force his hand, force him to show position. Can he find Chronicle? Well, yes he can. Tries to adjust for Leo in time, but speaking of time, it is going away. YZ still trying to do what he can, but a lovely readjust from Fnatic is going to make this Neron impossible. Nice damage, but not enough for the round. It's clean for Fnatic as they make it to three. See, even finding another one to Alfie, he said nice damage. It's uh, the best of a bad situation for Billy Billy. What a start. One away from the Blade Storm as well. Yeah, hey, the ping coming through on Yosemite at just the last second. Poor Dirk is considering that dash up to plant anyway. Like I said, allowances to be made. Well, we started Lotus trailing by five, trailing by six. <laughs> Durka <laughs> obviously saw what happened the other day. He's got a judge in his hands here. Blade Storm in the back pocket, yes. Looking to maybe create a little chaos of his own. Why not? Durka go kill, flash there, ring gonna slip ahead. That's a pretty nice Wait, idea. What? Fighting Leo and Chronicle. Durka tries to turn on a dime, he's gone down. Billy Billy holding on to the C site this time. Quick flank on the way as well. YZ's backfilled this position. They've got the gap closed from Garage 2. So Boaster and Alpha in a very tough situation. A 2v4, far from impro impossible, but let's see if they get given a chance here. Billy Billy keep this one. In hand, K Knight very close by to being in danger, just drifting back towards sight. Richard spot the cross. And Alpha finding nothing here. We've actually got a crossfire set up in spawn as well. Fnatic almost forced to try and commit to this engagement towards C site, but K Knight and Biank tucking in very deep here. They're giving him a lot of respect here, falling away pretty deep. But trying to force their hand towards sight. Maybe capitalize on somebody going for the spike plant. Boasted down to 37. I'm sure. Did he get a tag with the marshal there on the, 30 seconds. the drone? That's Alpha creating space though. Yes, they're down low. The HP dwindling, but individual fights make for light work. And look who's going walkabouts in garage. Alpha, the timing, not ideal there. Yosemite's going to catch him, leaving Boaster in a 1v2. Yosemite position noted, but does not know about the player along. Can't get there in time, and YZ. And get the first here for Billy Billy. On the board with uh, what, a Vandal, a Bulldog, a Marshall, and oh, was it, a Stinger from yeah. Rin just running it down. Durka, I don't know if he's caught by the paranoia just as Rin crosses paths with him inside the smoke. You see, as you hit, perfect timing on the paranoia. One enemy Not spotted on the way in. Yeah, Boaster and Alpha, good shot at things to try and convert, but just too much damage done. It was a little cleaner or maybe that kill towards CT or something you could have seen maybe a chance at it. Not to be. It looks like a simplistic start here for Fnatic. And goal that potential A site. I already see the here. fallback from Biang. Not wanting to stick around too aggressively. Got to be cautious here. Durka looking pretty aggressive so far. Quite confident in approach. I mean, we know the support system is exceptional for him. But now there's support on the other side too. Billy Billy drawing over two players. Yeah, and three in total. Whether or not K Knight's actually going to set something in motion here. Oh. You can see he's drifted back towards Link. Bianca and YZ go and explore him. Oh, they don't clear it. In. He had no idea he was there. Alpha with the trade as well. Billy Billy going to be kicking themselves for this one. Right site, wrong time. K Knight has to fall away. Respect to the site is somewhat lost. Spike he can go exploring a little, but off the back of the paranoia, can he shut down towards Zerka? No. Doug is still standing tall. Alpha with the crossfire. It's clean work for Fnatic. Slipping into full form here. Yes, losing Boaster, but revealing the grand plan. Get themselves the lockdown and the cosmic divide on the back of that round. Billy Billy, unfortunately, back in a position where they can't really afford to invest much here. Bladestorm available, yes. 
one away from their own lockdown. It'll be a rifle in the hands of Yosemite. Yeah, the, Billy the, Billy can try and capitalise on that, but I mean, how do you rock the default of Fnatic? Oh, isn't that a question? Almost all of the teams here would love to be able to answer, but it is so difficult. Can it happen again? I was in the water in those timeouts, God only knows. But Billy Billy, if you turn it around now, it would be magnificent. Let's find out. Back in we go. A loud start here for Fnatic, taking no prisoners. To be angry once again under so much scrutiny early on. Having to respect this, the ult not going to be challenged. Oh, nothing to remove this. Uh, and look at the mini Look at Long, look at C Long. Yeah. Boaster's actually going to catch. The flank coming through here, oh waiting dear. to see if there's somebody else. It's only Yosemite, and the execution comes through. Oh, and Rin's been noted as well. The system working in perfect order for Fnatic. It's flawless. It is absolutely flawless. A prime gaming flawless, that is. And it's not the first one this game yet. Fnatic not being rocked at all. The flank being watched. I loved how dedicated Boaster was towards that. Half the round, he was sat there waiting, knowing I mean, the possibility. A, it's a great read. You're almost anticipating this proactivity to come out after the timeout. So even the confirmation here to see, actually, yeah, have they taken space in mid? Have they drifted out of garage? There's only one coming down C-Long. Where's the pinch coming through? So it happens, Rin, the second layer to that one in mid. But he's identified by the alarm bot. Uh, and you're asking for a response here in round seven in this buy round from Billy Billy. An early divide indicating... Aggression down long, Mike. Uh, very deep this time, but there's an alarm bot inside that smoke. The divide has pulled out the lockdown already. There's just so much paranoia. This They've hit the mid. panic button. What a bizarre brawl. We're going to have a chronicle with sheer control. Why is he and K9 on the floor? Boaster was blind, but the support! You don't get a single fight against Fnatic like that. This disruptive play that called off NRG is not working here. But Fnatic beta out of Billy Billy here. The, the immediate cosmic divide. The lockdown goes in. They try and find space elsewhere to backfill this execute. And, and there's three, four members of Fnatic waiting. And now it's just Bianc. Runs himself in a 1v5. This could be an incredibly one-sided affair if Billy Billy can't get a grip on this. And by all rights, I think the desk was certainly discussing and kind of saying and highlighting, I think we're seeing it in very practical form, how prepared Fnatic are, planted. even against underdogs. The mentality is, is just crystal clear. Very hard to shake this team or find those faults. I was hoping that maybe Billy Billy could create that chaos to force them into those situations. But this round just demonstrates, I mean, they have their finger on the pulse of this yes, game. Absolutely. A perfect understanding of exactly what Billy Billy want to do. Bianca to getting hunted down here. Going to be potentially pinched by Alpha on the other side, but it's Durka to find it. Another prime gaming flawless uh, for Fnatic. That song is going to be playing a whole lot this yeah, game. You're going to get like. sick of it. Oh, wow. I, I'm a little worried for Billy Billy here. The way that Fnatic have been manhandling them around the map is not giving them much room to breathe. I, I don't know how you're meant to break this because... Uh, this is a key yeah. indicator here as well on the replay. The fact the spikes just left there. Yep. This is the plan from the get-go in this round from Fnatic. And it just makes you and feel absolutely spot on. Yeah, it? Billy Billy just feed into it. And it, it, it's not as if they've made the wrong decision. No. Nope. It's Fnatic just working the mind games perfectly. Yeah, between Boaster and Mini, certainly getting fantastic reads. A little bit of a different look here. Two left towards defending middle in case there was that aggression here. That's going to be Alpha mostly on duty and Durka go and walk in. No confirmation of attendance, but contact made towards middle. And Durka's controlled the site. He might get a little bit of a challenge through CT. Yes, we could see Biang there, but they're showing a little bit of patience, maybe trying to feel out where this Billy Billy side is, and it's all on the back line. Durk has fallen, out for overwhelmed. Okay. Finally a chance here. And there's Fury pop, but no commitment to the spike plant. There's somebody coming in perfectly timed through Garage. This is the first big advantage they've had in a minute, but Leo's still standing as his poster. Challenger found, dead. Follow-up, maybe, Leo prowling. Spikes down on the site and they pause. 50 seconds. They've got plenty of time to play with. I have the spike. Most are going to collect that spike. Now, what do they do with this? Continue along the path towards C? Do they just walk into the unknown? You could play Leo in here. He does have the Hunter's okay. Fury, so find an open plant for long, especially on the back of that recon. Supportive utility coming through from Leo. Yosemite. He has a lick of life there. 
Oh, the timing is obscene! Yes, yeah, he's found it! That's out of this world from him. Boast is in danger. Yes, yeah, stunned up. He's just trying to cower for a second or two, allow himself to come out of this. Maybe find a fair fight. Spots one, gets him, spotted the second. He knows one's along. He knows where both of these players are. This is very doable. Boaster, the 1v1 now. Down to 46, but a potential. And he's read it. He's read it so damn well. And this is the problem versus Fnatic. You can find three kills, but there's another two players to worry about every single time. Doesn't matter who you kill here. Nope. Everybody can clutch up on this team. I mean, this is an outrageous kill wow. to find that. It's not often Leo misses. Nope. Three HP on Yosemite. One enemy. Oh, the reads, lovely. Nice. Beautiful stuff from Boaster. What a game from him as well. His calling's been on point. I mean, FNS and Chet struggled with this team. Quite genuinely. Now, obviously, Fnatic have had the benefit of being able to watch, right? Sit back and see someone else having to deal with it. They've come in absolutely prepared. And an individual performance from Boaster that's actually very impressive. And Turk, uh, I mean, give him a chance. Oh, God. Yeah, it's becoming a bit of a slaughter now. An early two-man advantage here. Fnatic. Okay. That response comes through, though. Bianca and YZ both finding kills. That's lovely. They've lost the sight, and Chronicle's going back to check. They're so aware of this kind of re-approach that Billy Billy loves. They'll double down on everything. Alt invested. K Knight trying to maybe close in on this one. That judge going to be swapped out for here. Vandal locked in. Not going to happen. Fnatic not letting this go, Mike. It's another example of just a, a, a slight overinvestment, maybe a, I don't know, a, a, a tilt ult or yeah. just hitting the panic button it in general. Like it. Really testing the recovery factor now, the resilience of a team that said they came here to learn. And unfortunately, when a team anti strategy like this or, or just adjusts the way that they approach, you don't learn an awful lot. No, it's, it's so oppressive to play against Fnatic like this because all of the things that are working so well just you know, a day or two ago suddenly aren't, aren't there in your wheelhouse anymore. So this is when the question of depth comes in and we kind of discuss through that. And we know that Billy Billy will probably not have that international depth yet to be able to lean back on and find those further adjustments, or at least we haven't seen that yet. Now, whether or not they can maybe pick up the pace here a little bit, but find something for themselves. Once again, calling in for support. Bianc on an island now has two with him. And Fnatic waiting on the other side. Challenge accepted. YZ takes away Alpha. It was a dry fight there. Well, nobody else from Fnatic actually spotted yet, but doesn't necessarily look like a, a big indication with Billy Billy adjusting on the back of that. It's everyone but Yosemite here, basically. Smokes will be the confirmation behind that. And a couple of bits of key utility oh, elsewhere. Here comes the big ult. There's two on the site. They are very much in danger here. Bosa trying to shut it down. Oh. He's done it. Finds one, but traded out. Beautiful entry work, but a beautiful hold back. Billy Billy finally digging the heels in. A little bit of fight left in them yet. Second on the board. Talked about even recovering a, a half to, I think I believe, 8-4 versus NRG. That was their way back into the game. And it will feel like nothing short of a miracle once again to do yeah. the same versus Fnatic. A beautiful sight here. It's, I mean, Poster oh, finds wow. a ridiculous kill through that smoke, but... Combination of the Rolling Thunder and the Gravity Well intended to keep somebody in there. But Billy Billy find all the responses necessary. And <laughs> There's a four-man stack here on C. Just anticipating Fnatic exploring elsewhere on the map this time around. But first time we've really seen them commit to an early default. Yeah. I mean, aside Durka and Sua, but... This is very interesting. It's Alpha who's probably creating the most amount of what attention. The fact finder as well, yeah. Furthest forward. Spike not committed just yet. Why is he backfilling that space as well with the knives out? And it's going to be Leo. I'm just investing the Aldra, and that could encourage YZ, and it does. Takes away Leo instantaneously. Back in for seconds, only with that classic now headshot, yes, but not enough to really dissuade Alpha. What are you meant to do now? This time we've seen YZ really actually push forwards. Rewarded, but traded out. It's fanatic. Still got two committed towards eight. 
They're going to try and fake out with some of these smokes here. Bianks going to be within earshot. Problem being, there's still three members of Billy Billy that have to rotate past B site yeah, if Fnatic opt to plant there. Yeah, and look how far Doug has got, though. This has to be a call from him, and your 70's going to catch Alpha, but they don't note that Boast is still in middle. Wait, the, the, wait, hold on. He's decided now's the time. Okay, Lockdown's going to come in, but it's Boaster behind the lines. He's got a real opportunity here. And Chronicle can cause the problems. He can just slip away. He can fall away from this one. He doesn't need to stick around. He's drawn their attention with 11 seconds. There's going to be a plant towards C. Left. And a divide available for Boaster. Oh, wow. K Knight still with full utility. Yosemite alongside him, but a lot of time will pass by the time Billy Billy even get close to C site. And the paranoia is there that somebody's unnoted. Just going to slip away towards long. Here we go. You are divided. There's the divide you were discussing. Utility on the site. This becomes difficult. K Knight going to work through first. Finds nothing on the first steps, sees a fight. Tap on the spike will at least draw the attention. It's only Chronicle showing so far. Boaster keeping the cards close to the chest. But he's now noted at least two of the players here. Yosemite digs out Chronicle. It's down to Boaster. He's got to be clean about it. He is. K9 tried to stand on that. Diffused through. And Boaster didn't allow it. Demonstrating composure there for another Red Bull clutch from Boaster. Top in the board for Fnatic at 14 and 4. And the puppet master behind so many things we're seeing here. But also the last line of defense, Lauren. And we are seeing him elevate as an individual. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely little Red Bull clutch there for himself. So those two rounds looking very lonely on the board for Billy Billy. And aggression seems to be the answer again. An ambitious spray. As Durka going to be called in. This is a fight and a half. Rin connects well, but Durka looking above. See if he can maybe catch Rin on the way back through. Tag, yes. But this is a bloody brawl in middle now. Spikes here, so Fnatic want to try and what? retake this space. Yosemite with the fade away onto Durka. Huge snap to Durka there. And it's not without follow-up. Billy Billy want a bit more. Out for blood, bloodthirsty. Noting the spike and they ain't going to leave it alone. Which is going to be called back here. He needs to use some of this utility to help his players out. Chronicle's gone down a little too far. Tries to take on Leo and Bosa. Now in support and Fnatic hold this back line. It's Bianca and Yosemite left alive in a 2v2. But Bosa, the clutch king himself as of late. But Bianca's timing is going to be foul to deal with. Probably Late being presence. as well. Yeah, Leo down to 40 HP, Lauren. Well, Spectre timing. in hand. Yosemite going to draw the attention, and now they turn back. He's seen the barrel from Boaster, so he's got a great understanding for the timing now. Can Boaster clutch again? He absolutely can. Double digits in the first half for Fnatic. An absolute masterclass on show here, and unfortunately, Billy Billy just unable to... Um, we'll note those laughs as our yeah. that were just caught there at the I heard end. Sideshow. Yeah, we all heard it. We all heard it. Uh, it's two rounds, right? Do we... I don't think we can sell you this one. I, I think we have to be very realistic. Um, well, it starts with a pistol round, Mike. It all starts with a pistol, it all as we starts. always say. <laughs> like Alpha's going to be Ooh. the one to try and slow things down here. Stumble, catch him. I think YZ mm. spotted him on the dash, though. Mm. Someone's going to check on Alpha, right? Someone's... Okay. Alpha's buying the time. Look at this stall work coming out it's again. Just so much utility. That splits YZ, leaves him on an island. Uh, luckily for Billy Billy, I guess, the back line wasn't tr truly tested. Durka was taking his time about it. Um, so no one's there on the flank just yet. But again, Durka is in sewer, so he will eventually see this if they come back around. Now, it looks like a double pump. So we'll have to wait and see. So one player towards long. We know there's additional bodies. So Bianc much closer as is Rin, and Alpha's back in his corner. He's just not moved. Nope. <laughs> he won't be there again. Oh. Nope. They found him this time. Good clear on Alpha. And they actually check on Durka, but he has yeah. succeeded in that fight. So the back line is now looking vulnerable. They have to move forward. So that's the kill they needed, really, onto Durka to plant the seed of doubt. I mean, Aftershock could do a ton of damage here, but Chronicle's oh, got to be Star. careful himself. Great timing to play back through that smoke off of Chronicle's utility on the site. That's a little bit beyond necessity as Bianca's starting to kick into gear. A 2v2, but look at the HP, it's solo. And now with Durka here, this is rough for K Knight. Oh, dear. dear. Be the shock dart. Be the sheriff. I mean, it came down to a 1v1 in the end of things. 
Fnatic look like they're going to clean that up much earlier on, but an 11th on the board regardless. Billy Billy faced with a dilemma here. Mm. What do you invest? <laughs> do you try and cling to the hope of Fnatic still needing one more? <laughs> yeah. I mean. Seeing a couple of sheriffs come through. Yeah, frenzies. Heard they're good. Yeah, hit a great versus Paul. Will be their nightmare. Yep. yep. Okay. We go again. Ah, Billy Billy. This is tough to watch, honestly. Fnatic are really in control of this game and now for once again in his corner. And hello, this time he's gonna take <laughs> one with him. Why is he gonna fall first? Chronicle then gonna fill the space behind just in case someone else slipped through. As we can see by the utility pour towards B, no one could. But it's a split towards C, through towards Garage. Chronicle very much prepared for that. Yeah, I was going to say, ready with a fault line that Ooh. at some point would have caught three. Might even be here on the back of Boaster's contact, but he should farm with the Marshall here. Spike oh, down. Zemity actually Good trying trade. a response. Alpha just likes a corner. That's all he wants. He wants to sit in his little corner and have a lovely day. And Leo will take them through the round. It's 12 for Fnatic. And this one not looking like the upset that we had in Billy Billy's previous game. Come back in here with the purchase, but I, I mean, no real progress that's going to come online in terms of ultimates here in round 15. Three off the Rolling Thunder, three off the Hunter's Fury short. Yep. See a couple of kills maybe. Out. Fnatic, one SMG, rifles elsewhere. Bulldog in the hands of Leo. And a chance to close things out. Bit of a flash in the pan if it ends here. I guess the learning to take away, better to rip the band-aid off. Mm -hmm. But is there map pick, Lauren? That's the, the horrific part, isn't it? And, and yeah. we talked about it before, though. It's very hard to get advantages against Fnatic, even in vetoes. They, they are a very well-rounded team. Durka just wants a challenge. Stuck around so long, Leo <laughs> did lean up towards long, too. Durka just nodding on the player so, So Yeah, all right yes. then, yeah. <laughs> Maybe another round of play. But then again, if both are still alive, I mean, this is... I mean, Chronicle be, gets the upgrade. That's the, the other issue now. Uh, spreads the wealth a little. What's this for Boaster? Boaster exposed. Huh? 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 Okay. League Ops? <laughs> there's going to be a replay there's some on new that. Tech there. There's some tech coming out. Okay. Huh. We'll call it a spec bug. Call it what you want. Alpha has held them all back, and YZ in a very uphill struggle. A 1v2 is not impossible for this man, though. We saw him doing wonders, but you can see him being harassed and hounded. Fnatic, Neron, faultless through map one. That's great news going forward, Michael. Thank you for that. I, I'm a man of optimism. I can tell. Poison's off. Saving grace. Fnatic starting the attack. It was a 12-0 defense. Oh, fantastic. So there you go. There we go. Hopes. Yep. A light again. I need to see Billy Billy. <laughs> I, I just wish you could remove Fnatic's name from the server. See if we could maybe get that Billy Billy we had in that previous game. But right now, staring down the barrel. A gun. This is going to be a rough start. Chronicle seeming all too aware of this Boys possibility. There is an alarm bot in front of him. Dropping They're fight. just stacked up behind this as well. Yep. Fnatic toying with the idea of actually pushing through. Oh. Oh. There we go. That's enough. Yeah. That's enough Here. felt there. That something's Dirk, a bit weird. Yeah, Dirk has relayed that information immediately. Oh. Here they are. And there they go. That's going to be 
One down, Biank. So, there we go. The star we've all been wanting for. But the damage done. Durkin removed. <gasps> The Blood wallbang actually hell. connected. Alpha was at 34, he's now at 7, 7 HP. So unlucky not to find that. And that would have been crucial to find a further advantage here. I mean, Chronicle tag down to 74, you can't exactly call it an HP advantage. Bigger picture wise, is you have to try and find some space towards B. Why is he just rattling off shots Open. with the Sheriff? Not finding though, but it is a 4v4 post plant. This is still pretty reasonable. I mean, Bianc's HP and YZ's is, is an issue. Yes, Alpha's low, but Toxin's Alpha's a million miles away. And they are playing off site in this. Two towards the connector, A side. Held back for now by Utility. Can Chronicle try and corral the time though? Diffuse gonna be started, does not get to halfway. That was the contact coming in through Connector. Leo gonna get himself involved in the equation. He's gonna spot the player, that's Chronicle fighting him. And there they go. Three standing Fnatic with the first. Unfortunately, Billy Billy just in a position where, I mean, Rin's waiting behind this Viper wall for so long, but nothing else is achieved. There's no green light. No real point of weakness for Billy Billy to really approach, to be honest. Oh. It was that one there. Yep. <laughs> I think I'm. <laughs> what does it take to make Minnie Mini happy? Smile. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. They've lost one series this year. And he's, and he's livid. Furious. <laughs> he's absolutely up. They barely lost a round in the last map. He's still not happy. Wasn't a headshot. Berkelo going to find the first here. Oh, that removes God. Rin. That's going to cause the rotation, cause movement from Billy. Billy, does that then get exploited? See Fnatic on overly pressing this issue just yet either. Just taking their time, see if they can feel out the response that Billy Billy would want to be going for. All talk collected here for Durka. Building towards his first and foremost. Gone here. On. Stack towards B. So, Leo, we've heard his first deaths were very poor. Unacceptable. I mean, he's going to have a chat. Uh-oh. That's going to be a little bit of an alarm, but he didn't expect there to be so many. Four bodies behind, they're pushing. Oh, Leo, another challenge potentially. He's got Alpha by his side. And again, Fnatic just waiting patiently, feeding into them. It's those sort of rounds. We saw examples of that versus NRG around the Somme East where Billy yep. Billy are happy to commit to some of these fights and maybe catch somebody off guard, but you can't rock the structure of Fnatic. Total clean up here between Alpha and Leo. <laughs> And a, a stark, stark contrast on yeah. the player cams, not just to Fnatic today, but versus what we saw versus NRG. Oh, they were fired up before, and I kind of loved it. They were giving it to FNS across yeah. the stage. Like, where's that gone? I know it's hard when you idolize a team and you look up to them, but still, you're on the same stage. You're meant to be equals in this. Almost back yourself a little more. Early progress again. Durka going to be farming throughout this. And this is something that needs to be addressed. And early on, if uh, you have a beginner, give across free orbs mm. to Durka or anyone on Fnatic, to be honest. Yeah. For their efficiency. Bianca K9. Do try and hold on to the A side, but K9's in danger. Durka was taken down pretty low here. Slowed down a little, held in place, but can't be exploited. Keenai finally finds one, and it's only Alpha to be taken down. But effective trade still for Fnatic is YZ. Going to swing out from the door side. Paint the shell to follow up. That could be good. But Durka going to punish the overstep. Still keeping the man up. Three to two. Semi and Rin over on that B site, not a million miles away here. Catch anything, nope. 17. Try and slip through the wall, but both are still behind 30 it. 30 seconds left. In a position to backstab any pressure that comes towards Durka and Leo. Of hmm. course, sleeping. Both will fall. Now 2v2 now, Lauren. But it's Leo and Durka, right? This is going to need some big work. Clear back sight. They know at least where one was, but they expect left. the second. Somewhat safe plant. Leo going to have to tank a fair bit of that, but does get away. And Durko needs to be on body guard duty. Gets to slip up towards him. They both do as well. That's nasty. To catch the cross. Takes a head off of Rin's shoulders. He's now Yosemite. That's a 1v2. It's a good tag. It's not enough for the follow-up. Leo stays alive this time. 
And Attic carving three now into the scoreboard. We have to string much together. And Flatic encroaching on some of these ultimates now. Billy Billy desperate to commit to some of these. And we've seen a little more fight in Billy Billy. Yeah, yes, we haven't seen success just yet, but. I mean, Mini must have the same standards as Sideshow, I guess. It's Apparently, just, yeah. It's just unacceptable. <laughs> if someone can record the tape from Mini, only if I just want to hear. I just want to find out. It sounds like. I'll find you. Fnatic taking far more control early on. First time we're really seeing them show their hand very early here. We do see an address of that C site hold that's been really comfortable for Fnatic taking that old orb away. That'll be Boaster's duty to keep in charge. As one of them could slip closer here. K Knight waiting in that smoke. Gotta be cautious. Just slips away. Boy, Three of them holding it now. The weaponry is much lighter. It's a little bit trickier to find the value here. So Rin try and make something work with the stinger. Previously oh. Alpha. Sharp on the swing. Ooh. A bit of a Zantara speak there for him. Ah, oh, Durka just gonna find it. YZ goes down, it's clean. Fnatic have the site. We know where the last two players are. This plays in Boaster with no more threat felt towards A. You should start wondering, considering. They're clearing. Oh, the, timing. the timing is horrific for Boaster there. Just as he backed away. <laughs> 70's upgrade. laughing as well. But not going to amount to too much unless they're given any exits in spawn here. I imagine Rin's probably just going to progress towards A site, apply a little pressure. Secondary objective, remove a rifle or two, but... That'd be nice. Anyway, Fnatic already starting to back away. It might not even happen. Last oh, player standing. That's going up. That's Chronicle, one away from the ult now, as is Alpha. Leo a little further off with three. And a comfortable start here for Fnatic. Uh, I don't think we need to really highlight that too much. This is quite apparent. Billy, Billy not really finding that form yet. Waiting to see if that timeout comes in again. If there is adjustment here, They've got well, to do something. Yeah, and this is something I, I said before Haven started. We, we had that one light bulb moment yep. in one of the rounds where NRG were starting to play a little more loose, allowing a little more space for Billy Billy to try and take control, commit to some set pieces, or, or try and find opening engagements. Like I said, they weren't winning them, but time and time again, they were at least... I hate even saying it, but creating a situation and not just waiting for NRG to walk up and contact yes. into them. But we didn't see that on Haven. Feeling a little too passive for now. Do they start being instigators in these rounds? Oh, or for YZ they're going through, so he's one off for himself. On the other side, it's been free farming by Mound, really. No one playing contact on C. Very deep positioning from Rin. Yes, the turret is there, but still. That's going to be the lockdown ready for Alpha, maybe yeah. aware ready. of this possibility. Probably as well. Why is he? Other side of the map, no chance to shut this one down. So Rin gonna have to back away, respect this, concede, see sight. Bomb grenade out. Gonna be testing the retake here. Thank Billy Billy and Chronicle. Potential to be played in. I guess why he's got a fair bit of the timing. Well, here we go. This could be devastating. Fortunately, I guess, in a weird way, K9 is late to that B clear, so not to be too worried about that back line, as he's going to be the one tasked with this. But does Chronicle check for this? Probably not. The timing, no. No consideration of it. And now we see the test on the site. A little bit of trade there. Boast. Oh, big pick from Rin. Starting to clear on through. This is much better, but again, the stall on the site is good. This is tough for Billy Billy to try and get towards that plant, as they're wide out in the open. And Leo. Punishing two, make it three this round in total, and it could be a fourth here for him. No, YZ! Challenging desperately, but we note it. The time is running low, and Boast of at the back line, it doesn't even matter. Time was the biggest enemy, and Fnatic may fall, but they claim a fifth. It's heartbreaking for YZ falling to his own paint shell, but even so, there was still a gravity well at play for Boast to try and secure that. It's a fifth consecutive round. History repeats itself on Lotus for Billy Billy trailing now. Okay, so it's that fateful timeout here. That one. Certainly strange to watch. 
So they come back into this Billy Billy with plenty of ults, right? Two off in the Nightfall, that's the only one that's missing. So they've got the almost a full hand play. They've got a good purchase. This is arguably their best attempt yet to stop the rot, right? Change this very one-sided affair. But not an easy challenge as Fnatic obviously fully cognizant of the fact that they have all these ultimates ready to be invested. But what do they do with this? What is Billy Billy's plan here? Bianca and K9 to actually hold down the fort here on C. Why is he? In close proximity with the showstopper also. Drifting onto the angle though, Durka will find the first. And that feels gets away scot free. Feeling a little reminiscent of that NRG style, but trying to heat up a little, that's better. Bianca's found Boaster on the other side too, so this is actually not bad. This is going to add a little bit of a problem here. Three left Durka, Alpha, and Chronicle. Alpha looking for space, clears some, going to cause some paranoia to mount. Do they fall off the back of this or do they pivot? 50 seconds to choose. I mean, it's drawn both players deeper on A at least. I'll actually pull Rin in towards Link, just inside the door. Leave Yosemite in a position where, I mean, he does have his Viper's Pit. If they're <laughs> feeling as if they just need the one on the board, you can't really fault the overinvestment. Nope. I wouldn't mind it. No. At this point, when I'm left. having question marks about the map, I wouldn't mind it because you are the solo anchor here, really. Yes, Rin's close by, but still, look how far they're the getting. The timing's the everything. Rin can have the swing, and he's only going to get one. Traded out almost instantaneously. One enemy remaining. Oh, that's lovely. Nice stall there. Going to catch Alpha leaving Chronicle with 13 seconds and a whole lot to do. 1v3, got to clear out the first. He's not going to be able to do it. Billy, Billy, finally make it on the board. Do we see a timeout? The timeout buff. Mini hits the button. He's like, boys, what's going on? What was that? What was that? What are we doing? But, I mean, Billy Billy also frugal in terms of the ultimates here. We're talking about, you wouldn't argue with the pit being invested, but... Oh. Beautiful shot for the Yank, actually. Yeah, real nice. <laughs> okay, do it again. Do it again. Give us a game here. It's what we all want. The fans would love to see a little more out of this side. Certainly call our attention after yeah. that NRG game. Looking to potentially deny this orb now. Would be lovely. First time we're seeing a trap play set up. YZ coming across to maybe be the tip of the spear for them. Preemptive though. The Seas will deny any progress. Yep. Beautifully controlled by Fnatic. Kind of nullifying each side there a little bit. But again, very heads up work from Fnatic. Learning on the fly work without even being punished on it fully, which is very impressive. Durka double dipping on this, having a little look back towards that C side, but do we see the adjustment? Note the spike. Already starting to head back around right to the rest of the map. Maybe the A end here. Still Yosemite to clear and Rin, who did very well last round. TP towards mound. Most are trying to show presence, but I don't think they're going to fall for it. No. Fnatic probably just going to stick to their guns right here. There. Nightfall invested will know Yosemite. He's in trouble trying to hold towards tree, and actually the stall's good enough. Fnatic not finding free entry, 20 seconds. Yes, the lockdown there as well, forced to respect it. Pivot towards B. Can K Knight hold them back? Alpha and Durka overwhelm him. Bianco with the lineup! 10 seconds now, Spike is left loose, and this is now problems for Fnatic, scrambling for the Spike to go down. Chronicle willing to sacrifice himself if he must, and the Overwhelm is there! Did I just see a shooting off the body, Mike? Just checking. Well, well, Got chaotic well. there, and... Well, well, well. It all comes full circle now, doesn't it? Gotta confirm your kills. Ah, the Especially if it's Chronicle. True. Any questions there? For the second on the board for Billy Billy. Beautiful from Bianc. We saw so many moments versus NRG where he was pivotal to their success. Would you say he was Bianking on them yet? A mild Bianc in that last round for sure. I see. Oh. It, there was a note taken there. Yeah. Someone's having a talking to after this. In all caps. <laughs> okay, two to five. Again, give us another. One more go of things. The ults. Oh, belting shot to begin with. Why is he? Blinking, you missed that one. Dirk is gone. 
big impact at the start, not seeming too aware of that possibility of the operator coming out. Fnatic will try and pick up the pace elsewhere on the map. Yosemite potentially tested once again, but will slow things down, regain a little control on the back of that snake bite. Oh, it's gorgeous! Much better work, punishing Fnatic now. Lingering a little too long. And Boaster, that's not a comfy Last position to be in yet. Yeah, you can already see the seas coming in too. No escaping, five standing. Billy Billy finally make an impact in the server with a prime gaming flawless. Oh, and it will force. Oh, got it. It will force the timeout. Give me that and mini this cap. Is just, this is an outrageous wide swing. But I was talking about a few rounds that were confidence builders for them versus NRG. And that's the thing you want to see. A couple of terms of the funds. So what's the response now, right? We know that the operator's out. We know that YZ is willing to be aggressive. He'll take those challenges. He stamped his authority in that last round. Now the buyback here for Fnatic is a little rough around the edges, isn't it? Certainly not pretty at all. A couple of volumes to play with, yes, but none to really facilitate that gap close. Maybe Dirk again, his online could be a different spake up. And there's the rattle of the operator, noted early, and you can see the adjustment from Fnatic. Yeah, and straight away, trying to reposition as well, become a little more active around the map. Looking willing to play for that retake though again. You are divided! It very deep here. The divide does go through, so you're gonna eliminate most of the problems from CT or any of those issues they may have. No value found off the utility, though, initially. YZ nearly played in with the Operator. There was a chance. Spike not down just yet. No, so it could get a bit chaotic here. There we go, Spike's up. Plant in timing, got a little dicey there, but not punished for it. And the Viper's pick gonna follow through. This adds insult to injury, a That's very tricky round now. It's just such a cheesy post-plant as well. The Decay yeah. will take effect, the Nano Swarm's inside it. Dirk is gonna be able to farm with his utility here. There we go, can Billy Billy oh, somehow up. disrupt this back line, this post plant. Dirk are willing to shoulder most of this. Tap on the spike, you can see! Oh my Look God. at this utility crunch! It's filthy! Fnatic playing nasty now! As Billy Billy are able to really get towards the spike and the damage is being done. K Knight needs to run, needs to scramble. And that is the ace up the sleeve that Fnatic bring out. Whenever they fancy it, whenever they want it, they got to get a move on here. Make sure they get that save. Boys can't make it. Ouch. Still. Again, when we talk about the abilities of Fnatic, Mike, these sort of rounds, yeah. these little set pieces they have, this is what makes You talk about uh, what I said earlier, the efficiency of Fnatic in terms of ultimate usage and ability to convert rounds here, where it's, what, it's a Guardian, yeah. two Stingers, and Dirk even forces into a Bulldog, and they walk away with this with the round win and three upgrades. So starting to chip away at that <laughs> cushion, that stability, the comfort. Still that went well, Mini. That, was a really that good went round. really well. That was a really good round. Right place. Maybe right time. This could be everything. Tries to stand. Hold, but he's being chased down. Durka. Does he go again? Yes, he does. Trying to find him desperately. He makes it away. But Fnatic take the B site. They want to fight back for this, though. Billy Billy looking absolutely up for the challenge. And Durka is having none of it. Two oh big God. picks. Finding Bianca and K Knight. Leaving just the two left stranded and alone. Plant goes in short, but how? Wow. Okay. Absolutely desperate for this one. But look at the position from Durka. Look at what he is doing. If they take too long, if they bide their time, even if they get this kill, he is the inevitable death that is creeping behind them. He'll take a matter of moments, but he's going to creep closer. They're not going to consider it. Rin's taken down one, but there he is, like a knife in the back. Durka strikes, the ult gets dropped, and now Rin's in trouble. How do you dig out Boaster as well? He's playing so deep. He's trying to. He's got the time against him. Boaster now knows he's the next target. Not going to let them slip this time. Fnatic's trying to get a grip back on this game. Pull that scoreline away and remove most of the hope that Billy Billy was starting to build. There's beautiful awareness from Durko as well. Boombot confirms presence. He knows he has a little bit of space to take. Potentially even find a 1v1 in spawn with it just being two members of Billy Billy left standing. And backstabs this Viper's bit perfectly. Three to seven now. 
seeing the Odin come out, seeing why does he go for that? Uh, one off the Nightfall. Uh, lockdown in play for Alpha. Here we go. <laughs> Spam ain't gonna catch this time. Fnatic though, forced to respect it early. Very indicative of that presence though. Okay, he might have to explore a bit further. And uh, maybe an overstep there, challenging Chronicle like that. He's gonna be rewarded first and foremost. Above one minute and 20, they already have that man to the good. There. Careful here. Fnatic anticipating proactivity, aggression on the side of Billy Billy now. Even with that read of Chronicle finding the first, just shows their level of understanding. So you time to work with still, but looks like Fnatic might actually follow through on that initial pick. Outside rubble. It's going to be wide open on the other side. Plenty of utility to work with on the way back through, but he's really probably going to be quite late to this one, Lauren. Yeah. Timing working very well here. Still going to be very diligent about it. Bear in mind, Yosemite has been around this position quite often, playing that singular spot by Tree, but maybe a pivot here towards the B site. So threading the needle very well, Fnatic, with, yes, 20 seconds, but a pretty free site. A plant here in the angle for Dirk is lovely. Headshot delivered. He's overwhelmed, but he's still finding so much damage. Look at them, the walking wounded, and Leo wants in. Claims the victim of YZ. Leaving Yosemite and Biang to try and fight back into this. Oh, that's not gonna happen with Durka doing this, is it? 20 HP, and where you're gonna run, where you're gonna hide. You ain't got the time to play it back in now. And Fnatic are gonna put eight on the board. No two ways about it. Get themselves back on a lockdown as well. Yosemite, 20 HP forced to try and hold on to this rifle now. And the repurchase is going to be really uncomfortable for them. Oh, it's going to be ropey. Yeah, as we enter round 12. Fnatic will stretch their lead to five rounds. Billy Billy staring down the barrel of a curse here on Lotus. Last round before the switch. Yeah, we can't take anything with us after this. Let's see what that buy comes to. We were questioning the amount that they can gather. It's Rin's looking in trouble. Uh, I'm seeing a rifle, no armor, um, yeah. kit, not no, there. No utility, he's got a turret, that's it. No, that's, that's really hard to play with. A Guardian coming out as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little worried here. And Dirk is going to opt for the, maybe the operator toying with that idea, maybe. Just testing it out in this final round, why not? Does he get an earlier... Yes, he does! Answers it back, doesn't he? Darker there connects instantaneously as the round begins. It's K9 again, unfortunately. Yosemite, the solo anchor towards A now. At least Billy Billy trying to get proactive outside B with the Prowler. Maybe feel out the setup here with Fnatic, but... It's only going to amount to a turret on the other side of things. Really doesn't want to let that operator go, but can only juggle it so far. One off the showstopper too. It's going to be Yosemite really, once again, under pressure. Support coming in through by the door. Not broken yet, but keep note of that spike. Does it Oh, the push up from Chronicle. Slipping a little deeper. Catching Yosemite, trying to desperately look towards the back line. And again, they're not looking like they want to commit towards A. No, Fnatic with their full run of the map. Nightfall will uh, maybe even be a red herring here. But Lockdown will confirm the intention. Where does Ring go? Run through the site, I guess. Hope that they don't catch you. Yeah, got to back away here. Stuck around a little long. Might get caught, but still, probably worth it in the end to take down Alpha. Maybe give them a fighting chance here with three standing. Chronicle. Patrolling, prowling, looking, finding, gets Biang down. Utility there, could have had the follow-up. Rin overdoes it. Keeps him within standing. touching distance. But now with YZ gone, it's Leo to seal it. And this half has been brought back on track. With those three Switching rounds, side. Billy Billy almost got close by. Just about starting to turn the tides a little bit. But again, we saw Mini. Pulling them back in line. The timeout hit. He'd had enough of any of the nonsense. 
they got the boys back in line. So a commanding scoreline here, Mike. This half has been very up to them. If you're trying to learn, you'd probably look towards these players, but in the server, we're seeing probably the negative side of this. It's Billy Billy unable to be the same explosive team we saw against just a moment ago in the opening series against NRG. But that's not a bad beginning. Already connecting towards Durka. Quelling that early aggression, and the second player noted. Yeah, both that. Going to have to retreat away from that. Still got Leo in a position towards tree. Billy Billy not necessarily charging it down just yet. Most will confirm information elsewhere. Oh, he's been seen in that smoke though. He tried to play forward, actually play through the paranoia. But Billy Billy overdo it. Beautiful. Overwhelmed towards the B site and the plant should be soon to follow. Five standing against the two. Leo and Chronicle. This is a really tough angle to clear as well for Leo to be allowed to do it. And look at YZ's progress too. He wants to get on play. Yeah. Oh, nice attempt, but better work. And Billy Billy, a flawless start to the second half here. I'm gaming flawless to begin. Maybe there's a little more building. Maybe there's some life in them yet. Definitely a positive. A long road to go. Sounded crispy here, yeah. Ooh. Definitely One was from your 70s POV as well. Currently top of the board for Billy Billy. Going to see some sheriffs invested here from Fnatic though. Uh, Shorty in the hands of Boaster. See what they can get done, Lauren. Okay, all those bulldogs would be a lovely reward. Taken out of hand, Rin with the rifle. Dirk is going to have to give away the position. Now forced to stand and fight. He actually might lose his life. Yeah, the paranoia well placed. But do they check? They absolutely do. Alpha not going to get away with what he wanted there. The stack towards C being dismantled. Leo with a big chance. Only going to find one. As Billy, Billy keeping this one sharp on the way in. Chronicle. Still going to do chip damage. This is going to start getting costly. Got to see them get a grip on this now. Don't want to lose anymore. And they don't. Three alive. Let's see if they get that phantom back. They should be able to. And they have. Two Bulldogs and the Phantom going forward. They've done what is necessary, what we require of them. But this round is going to be a little trickier. Absolutely. Investment comes in now from Fnatic. No progress towards Ultimus on either side just yet. So not going to be a factor in play. Rin and YZ still sitting on Bulldogs. Here. Not going to be a concern just yet. Bianca actually... Well, it's down to zero credits, and Yosemite down to 800, so fully invested here with the full shields as well, Lauren. They want this game back. Maybe had enough. Durka watching for that cross, going to spot the pixel. Oh, bloody hell, he is good. Lovely little start for him. No chance for a response to stack. Only going to find one there. Surprising that Rin even able to find Boaster in that. Okay. But still, three players, Bianca, Semity, and Knight. Still continuing along their pathing towards eight. Spike in Bianca's hands, waiting for that cross to be secured. Two players, ready to dive back in. Leo and Durka, clearing out by tree, noting nothing. Don't get that plant going. Patience being shown from Fnatic, though. Yosemite. Going to know Alpha's position here. Doesn't quite know it's Alpha yet, and this man's been clean on his shots, but Yosemite Boys leading the way for Billy Billy. Does he stick around? The timing. Just look towards Durka and loses. Two more left to find. K9 and Bianc. Going to try and recover, but yep. Chronicle will find one. And Bianc in as close to an impossible position as possible. Only Boaster to fall here. And a response found from Fnatic, double digits on the board. And it's such fine margins. You can see why Billy Billy went in that all buy here, because as soon as that first round comes in for Fnatic, they're up to 10. A quick pump of the brakes for Billy Billy, knowing that they're now in a little bit of a problem, right? The money's going to be a little bit lower. The situation in front of them a bit tougher to play with. Seeing a couple of uh, some decent progress, actually, for Rin, at least, when it comes to that lockdown. Still two off. Um, yeah, OK. A little bit of a wonky purchase. Oh. Just gonna Goldberg? force up actually, yeah. I guess force the whole way. Yeah, they're they're they they're being almost stubborn in this. Not willing to give up and go down to a lighter purchase. This gives Fnatic access to twelve though. It absolutely does. So this becomes near on the swing round, right? This becomes a huge value round. 
Maybe what the timeout was for. There. Durka noting rifles coming out to play here. So maybe a little indicative that there is a buy behind this. And they continue the progress. There's a four play stack from Fnatic here. Happy to receive the aggression if it's there, but Alpha will confirm. Oh, it's getting dangerous now. Well, that's a step. And that's the boom bot going in. They know there's players watching us. They've got to be aware. And they're, 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 they're disrespecting them. Billy Billy going to go down. Brilliant follow up for Durka. And yes, they try and respond, but it's too little, too late. Fnatic make the great escape. Rin does respond towards B, creating a chance, but I don't think they can fill that gap fast enough. Spike could have come on over. No one can deny that now. Still a little paranoid about Link, but Leo waiting towards CT. As you can see, Rin desperate to secure some safety, and there will be none. Trying to slip back here into the safety of the smoke. That is going to be dissipating, giving away the game and maybe playing in Alpha. Brought low, yes, but still standing. 11 HP. Well, this is huge. Oh, that seems to be very nice. It's k Knight's done very well. Isolates Durka, slows down. Biang succeeds against Alpha. Now he gets played back in. Incredible from Billy Billy. The two alive was more than enough. Dividing and conquering Fnatic to get six. A do or die round for Billy Billy as well to keep their hopes alive here on Lotus. No. So there was nothing left in the tank there, Lauren. Wow. Starting to get a bit more fired up now. This is what we want to be seeing. Oh. Mini mad. There. Oh, for Durka. On the other side, locked down there. Nightfall as well. A couple of key pieces coming online for Billy Billy here. Navigating through that critical round that had so much value and all of that aggression from Fnatic getting in their faces. Here. But now, forcing a level of respect out of Fnatic, slowing that down a little bit. That stretch of utility running across C is horrific to try and play into. No charges. Maybe looking to pivot, or at least pull attention elsewhere. Biank adjusting towards that B side. You should run. Lockdown invested here. Clear out all of B and force Fnatic. It's even deeper towards potentially spawn a waterfall to sit behind this. I, I like how Dirk is thinking, though. He's still very aware that there's a chance comes around, and this is a great time. It missed! The second lease of life for Biang still standing, and Dirk on the receiving end of that nightfall, but still, they don't want to go off this. You can see the stall. That's the utility there that could have absolutely mauled them. However, they're just back towards B. It's on Boaster this time, but does he respect it? Does he sit back? More than likely. There's a firing squad on the other side, and they've got themselves a plant now. A full 5v5. Boaster respecting it because of the stinger. Yes, some utility available, but not many options for Fnatic. They need to find a kill pretty early on here in this retake. Prowler finds nothing. Durka going to start stepping forward. It's Biang to connect. Boaster goes down. K9 can be called in. Seize does land. He's now in a little bit of danger here, trying to be pulled forward, but the paint shell doesn't connect. It's Leo to clear, takes down Rin. Follow up found. And Fnatic start flooding towards the side. A 2v2. Biang in your still standing. Bianca could be cut off from this though, he can't quite get involved here. The spray not connecting and Alpha staying on the defuse. You gotta put your life on the line for this. No one stopped him. They still can't stop him. Fnatic move up to 11. Daylight robbery by Alpha. A brazen stick. Able to drag that one across the line. That gives Alpha the lockdown as well. Like I said, there weren't many options here. It was going to come down to a raw engagement remaining. to retake B site here. But Fnatic pull it off, Lauren. They do. There's the money sitting. This was on a knife's edge before. Enough still to get a buy on both sides, but you can see the weaknesses showing a little here for Billy Billy. The ball dogs coming out. TP, yes. YZ one off, sure. 70 one off as well. And the default, maybe starting to realize this aggression from Fnatic is certainly founded. I'm going to note the presence again. My ult is ready. Oh, has come through for Leo this time. There. And this default's holding, but you can see that pendulum leaning towards the seaside, slowly swinging back through. Prowler. Going to find its target, so you see, he actually gets away with it. Durka, maybe not as ready as he should have been. Gets caught up. Big pick found. 
And Leo having to respect that fall away a little, but you can see the end goal for Billy Billy, or at least what they were considering. Was that C site? Oh. Oh, just stuck. Why is he going to have to give it another spin if he wants to regroup it? Fanatic left wondering as to what's going on in this round. Yeah, a little bit dazed and confused, but Leo going to catch. Well, just catch a load of bullets is what he's going to catch. Ren on the way in. It's still a game on here, 5v3, most run out for Alpha Solo. He still takes down YZ, but look at the damage. This is huge. Chronicle and Bosa, this is not a favorable situation. They're being hunted down. Yosemite is willing to push. Well, they try and control. That Viper's been in place. This is looking very uphill. And do we see a Fnatic timeout, or are they still feeling enough of this game? It was a break back for Fnatic to get to 11. It should be seven for Billy Billy, as you can already see Boaster taking himself away from this without a rifle. This is huge. They're starting to get back in the game, Mike. This might be what well, Billy Billy need a little bit more energy towards it. That confidence starting to hit here. Punishing some of that aggression from Fnatic and also just figuring it out. And the step change we needed to see. Fnatic, like I said, in this situation, unable to really read what's going on. Boaster actually falling there. Now the 250 as well. It's going to leave just the one rifle in the hands of Chronicle. Yeah, Billy Billy, a couple of examples now where they're, they're showing they can overwhelm a player or two here and there and capitalize. The pace seems to suit them in rounds like that. I'm starting to smile, Mike. I'm starting to think we could have a game on our hands. You're seeing frustration on the Fnatic faces. Leo looking a little shaken. Again, they had such a good grip on the game. Maybe all that worry from Mini was rightly placed. And again, now Fnatic down on a lighter buy. This could be eight. Rifle, yes for Chronicle. Yes, the Guardian with Leo. A couple of alts here and there, but you're looking for a lot if you're a Fnatic fan here. Greedy. Big denial, though. Would have been probably nice for someone else, but that's fine. I mean, Boaster, potentially Chronicle. Yep. To get theirs online. Pivotal in terms of the defense. Look at the stack from Fnatic as well. Very heftily leaning towards that kind of door swing B side. But we have seen, to be fair, Billy Billy testing that. But this time feeling no presence towards the A side. They're actually exploring the correct way. This is a really good little read into the positioning. Now, bear in mind that Fnatic are on, as said, those lighter purchases. So really, you want to be looking out for where Chronicle and Leo are residing. It's Boaster they'll be mostly challenging if they do continue towards A. He's only got the classic. TP clears backside. There is no one here. Good choice, right read, and a safe plant. Five alive as well. We'll see the weapons for Fnatic. A huge disadvantage. Only the one for Chronicle. Well, that was the rifle heard. Oh, and there it goes. Ripped away, it will fall into the next player's hands, but Rin follows up. That's the rifle gone. It's Leo next to be the most threatening player, and Yosemite is making it look like light work. Leo now in danger, Rin gets overwhelmed. That's a little soppy, and now there's a chance. They've got to shut down the account. You cannot give opportunity as Boaster keeps that rifle, gets running. We're making it up to eight here. Billy Billy starting to turn up. Roll your mind back to map one. It was two rounds. It was an absolute battering that went down. This time around, Billy Billy finally giving us the game we were waiting for. Seeing that same sort of resilience that was on display versus NRG as well. Happy to go toe to toe. And maybe disregarding the opponent they say they respect so much. Sticking to their guns here. Fanatic though will come back through. I like said, a few key ultimates here. One off the divide, another key one for the defense. Inside of Billy Billy, just a showstopper. Two away from the nightfall, Lauren. So it's going to be Leo and Gurkha towards A. Uh, on the other side. Okay. Early interest from Billy Billy. Spamming out, making sure no one slipped the net. As they start clearing through, but the aggression again. Noted mostly off the crowd. We know that Gurkha does try and follow off the back of that. Yosemite is now aware of this. They've lost the side of the map. Do they try and re-clear this late? Do they continue on the pathway towards C? Door now noted. Again, this was a, a round that we've seen work well for them. It's mostly been Billy Billy pivoting towards that B side, but this time no early pick to be had. Happy to try and proceed here. It's 
just off the going to be some head. utility to maybe slow things oh, down, no. but he's going to get chewed up Stay by Chronicle. Down. The snake bite will confirm, Lauren. There was no way back from that. You had to either go forward or accept your fate, and it felt like you just didn't quite play it out as he'd hoped. But YZ going to try and pick up where he left off. Dives on forward, secures the B side. Does he find Boaster here? Left, right, he chooses right, and he chooses the wrong side. Boaster gets to keep his life and plays in Durka now. Playing back through from Connector. Takes down one, it's three remaining. Locked down there, Boaster on the pickup towards YZ. Now just K Knight and Rin. Players Gonna standing. find yes, one, but it's not enough. The number's just so substantial. There's Forced no, to respect. There's no mollies on either. Nothing be done here. A shot in the dark and it's not enough. Fnatic making it up to 12. Now knocking at the door. Start to become aware of Billy Billy's plans. Match this time point. not working out at all. Map and series point here for Fnatic. Finally looking like they can regain some control. Stabilize a little bit. Whoa, the lockdown unfortunately in this round forcing the hand of oh. Billy Billy. Still going through it. <laughs> oh. He's clinging to life out there, Lauren. <laughs> okay, couple of volts. Right. Nightfall for Bianca is there. What is the game plan? Is it the same thing? Is it different? Do they adjust? Chronicles just invested theirs over towards the A site, locking down the vast majority of the approach. Utility then to complement that over by tree. So they can pretty much leave this absent. As we can see, though, for Billy. Billy, it's all eyes towards C. All in, excluding one. Face your fear! And maybe nightfall. try and pop off the nightfall here, Lauren. Paranoia too. Why is he going to die? This. Oh, Again. What? Chronicles got your 72. This is rough. They're on the site, but at what cost? Look at the HP already. Plant yes denied. Second go of things up. Second denial. Can you catch this? Rin there just going to be trying to drift on through. So the time's at least on their side, but a 5v4 is not easy to hold. Why is his age bar? Health bar, sorry. Oh my word. Three on the site. This is going to be a brutal fight. Going to need Rin to deliver K Knight. Someone has to go beyond expectations. Bianca's one of them. Rin the other. Maybe there's still a chance. It is a 3v3, but time's starting to tick. Fnatic got to get moving. Rin already for the fight, but loses. And now just YZ. And it's just too much. Fnatic pushed to 13. But this was a damn close affair. And more than most of us expected. Billy Billy showing life in the second. We talked about it being a miracle upset for them to...